Michael, so good to see you again. So great to see you too. It's been a month, I can't believe it. It's time for Pay It Forward again. It's time for Pay It Forward. What are we gonna do this month? Have you heard of the Veterans Nonprofit Organization? Yes, actually I have heard of them. They do a lot of great things. They give food to veterans in need and they also provide clothing and, and stuff for the animals they may have service animals and so forth. So I've heard a lot of great things about them. You know what I really like about this program, aside from the fact that they're doing all of that, is that a lot of us don't realize that as military people come back um, or when they become veterans, they are actually, there's some that need a helping hand much more so than others. And that's where oh. this organization actually really begins to shine. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, the veterans come back with uh, sometimes PTSD and, and other issues with their health uh, and mental well-being. And, and this organization has stepped up and really uh, helped out. So I think it's a great organization and something that we should definitely get behind. The great thing about it, Michael, is they've been paying it forward now for a long time. And it's our time to pay it forward to them. Let's pay it forward to them. My name is Stephen Mills and I'm the founder and executive director of Veterans Nonprofit. Veterans Nonprofit is a new local 501c3 organization that seeks to assist low-income veterans and their families in meeting their most, most basic of human needs. 95% of our clients at Veterans Nonprofit are low-income veterans and their families. The other 5% is a smattering of surviving spouses of deceased veterans and a few active duty personnel who have an emergency need. Our services are really varied. The most utilized is our Veterans Food Pantry. Right now it's serving an average of 250 to 270 veteran households per month. We also have a clothing closet where the vet can get clothing for himself and everybody in his family. They can get two complete changes of clothing for everybody in the household once a month. We also have a service animal slash pet food pantry where we'll help up to two uh, pets per household and we have hygiene items. It's something new we've added, but it's one of the most expensive things we're doing, trying to keep shampoo, conditioner, mouthwash, toothpaste in stock. So that's something we've added and it's really expensive. It's a challenge to keep going. My name is Erica Jaramillo. I first got involved a couple years ago. I'm, I'm a veteran myself. There's a huge veteran community here. There's a lot of people that retire here from the military, but there's also a huge amount of homeless veterans here. There's not a lot of veteran organizations in El Paso that does what VMP does with the closing closet, with the pantry, and the fact that we primarily serve low income and homeless veterans. Military sexual trauma. So even though the VA does address MST, it's still a pretty new process and it's still a pretty new subject. And the VA is still trying to figure out how exactly to address it and who's the best person to do it. At VNP, we have made a group that is completely judgment free, completely just you can be yourself and talk about it. So when you put a group of people together who have gone through something similar, it's easier to talk about it, it's easier to process it. They can express it, they can you know, cry with each other, they can help each other through it. Hi there, my name's Sandra Diaz. And I'm Michael Gopin with Pay It Forward. And we have heard wonderful things about what you and your organization are doing for our veterans here. And so we wanted to pay it forward to your organization and present you with a check from Pay It Forward to you guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for El Paso and the veterans. The thousand dollars just blows us away. Right now, we're nearly out of hygiene items. So this is gonna allow us to go buy toothpaste, mouthwash, shampoo, and have it here at least, that should support us for at least two or three months on hygiene items. More than this, it helps us get community awareness of what we do. That was beautiful, Michael. I am so glad we chose this organization. Oh, they're so well deserving and do so many good things for so many people. It couldn't have gone to a better place. And on that note, don't forget, there's nothing too small that can't make a difference.